Hello everyone and welcome to Life in the Workshop Upgrade in Progress. So this is going to be a similar vein to my um, uh, half-sized Hartnell TARDIS and also my uh, Life in the Workshop Emperor and also my unfinished uh, K9. Um, very quickly, just to address this, some people have asked in the past, um, K9 will be finished at some point or at least it will be restarted because I uh, finished it and then I never got around to finishing it and I ended up selling it. Um, but I probably will rebuild it in future. But as you, some of you have guessed uh, from the intro and from this, uh, I am going to be making, well, it looks like I'm going to be making a uh, full-size wearable Mondazian uh, Cyberman head. And that is true. Uh, I am going to be doing that. But the ultimate plan of upgrade in progress, and this is going to take several years, is going to be to build a full-size wearable but full-size Mondazian Cyberman costume. Um, as I said, this is going to take quite a few years. The chess piece is certainly going to take a while. Um, but I thought, I'd th uh, I thought I would start, first of all, with the head, because that's nice and simple. It's nice and easy. And it also, at, even just on a desk like this, it would make a very nice display piece. So uh, essentially what I'm going to do is, obviously, I've got a mask, um, which I will tell you all about this in a second. And then I am going to build the uh, headpiece as well. And that's pretty much it, all I'm going to do for that. And then I'm obviously going to add the silver collar around the base, um, just, to, just to finish it off. Um, so underneath this is just a normal uh, styrofoam mannequin head that I bought on uh, eBay. That was nice and simple, as you can see. I've marked out the places for the uh, eye holes. I need to adjust that one slightly. And the mouth holes. And now this is what is known, is it's got a logo on the back, which I need to get off. But this is from Morph Suits, and this is a morph mask. Again, I got it on eBay. Uh, you can get them in a variety of colours, uh, but obviously I've gone for the white, for the Mondazian Cyberman. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do, and you're not going to see it in this video, I'll come back to that in a second as well. I'm not going to actually do this as a live from the workshop as such, but um, uh, what you're going to see uh, when I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the eye holes, and I'm also going to do the mouth as well. Um, and obviously I have already got this. Um, these holes are not positioned perfectly on this head, but they are positioned as to where they would be on my head because obviously I want to make this wearable for me um, but yeah similar to my other uh, larger life in the workshops what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of give you updates rather than actually doing it on camera because with the larger scale projects it's hard to do on camera because obviously I've got to get up close and then I'd be doing all of this and half the time I would be in the way of the camera so it's not very easy for me to do um, so yes uh, expect an update on this soon because the pieces for the helmet are arriving soon uh, there's probably going to be several updates on this but the first one you're going to see is once i finish the eyes and the mouth um and yes this is the first part of upgrade in progress and uh, i certainly hope this is going to turn out as well as i hope i certainly think it's going to look as as good as i uh, hope it's going to um but uh, yes stay tuned for more in this ongoing and no doubt long-running series so, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. There is an exclusive webcomic and rewards for people who support it, and the funding generated by my Patreon helps me fund future videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.